Scrub a dub dub. What's in the tub? What's going on, my scrub scribers? Ace here, and today I have the first week of the CCL season two team builder, and this is going to be against Marty's team, the Warrensville Weezings. And now you guys are going to see Marty's team, and it is composed of either Mega Sableye or Sableye, depending on which he chooses to bring, because both are viable to bring. Volcarona, Azumarill, Tentacruel, Galvantula, Chestnut, Blaziken. Bronzong, Swellow, Pillowswine, Swalot, and Rampardos. Now, looking at his team, I was like, okay, I definitely have to identify common threats uh, that uh, his team has over mine. So I was like, okay, obviously all his OU picks are things that I have to bring something for specifically. So Mega Sableye, I have to bring something for, I have to bring a couple things for because that thing is way too bulky if it gets starts getting calm minds up. Volcarona is an endgame sweeper, so if he gets whoever dances up, I'm in trouble. And Azumarill with the Belly Drum, I have to be able to get, uh, I have to be able to either wall it or kill it in one to two hits so it can't kill me off with a Belly Drum and ends up sweeping me. Um, so those things I really felt that I had to identify this week, and the rest of his draft, I was like, okay, those things I kind of have like everything for. Galvantula is a little bit problematic, so I might need to uh, bring something specifically for that. Uh, the chestnut's a little bulky, and then the lower part of his draft, I was like, okay, the scarf or the rampartos at the end there. If it's scarf, could be a little bit problematic, but I'm not really too worried about it. And then the swallow, I have a lot of resistances for that, so I I wasn't really too worried, um, like looking at that. So the team I decided to build was uh, the one that you guys see up here, and it is uh, Mr. Mime, Raikou, Excadrill, Latias, Weezing, and Blastoise. And I decided on uh, these sets uh, because I felt that they would give me the, uh, the most offensive pressure against Marty's team because I felt his was a little bit more of a slow playing team where he kind of have to set up uh, different things to make his team work either like whether it be Trick Room, whether it be Tailwind, um, whether it be like Substitute Baton Pass. Uh, like his team doesn't want to go 1v1 versus mine. My team is just a little more offensively oriented. So I felt, okay. Let's just kind of go after him and bring everything that we can. So I'll go over the sets with you guys here. Uh, with the Mr. Mime, you guys see the Magic Coat, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, and Taunt. Um, the Magic Coat is specifically for if he leaves off with a wand that I feel is going to set up, uh, say, like spikes like the Chestnut or Stealth Rocks like the Pillow Swine. Um, then I can just block those and send them back on his side and uh, like there's no problems there. Now the Dazzling Gleam, uh, Mr. Mime would be a really good lead if he decides to lead with Sableye because a lot of teams that have Mega Sableye decide to lead with them just so they can get that Mega off first turn and block any hazards coming up, especially since he has a Volcarona uh, that like, doesn't really appreciate Stealth Rocks and then he has a couple Flying Wands and things that really don't appreciate Stealth Rocks. Uh, I think that I'd be in a really good position there to um, like just have this out against him. And then anything that wants to come out, so if the chestnut wants to come out and try some shenanigans, I can just get a taunt off with Mr. Mime and prevent him from uh, getting spikes up. If I don't already, just kill him with straight off with a psychic. Um, yep, that's pretty much like Mr. Mime is just overall a great a great pick here. I decided on the max speed there because a lot of his mons, uh, when they are max speed out, uh, they kind of either speed tie with uh, Mr. Mime or they don't uh, they don't quite outspeed Mr. Mime. Uh, just because he does have the base 90 speed stat, like most of Marty's draft, like I said, is a slower draft. So Mr. Mime being fast, this fast, is really, really good for us. Now moving on to Raikou next, we have the uh, Thunderbolt, Extrasensory, Calm Mind, and Shadow Ball. I felt this overall just covered a lot of his team. Uh, Thunderbolt specifically for uh, like the Azumarill and pretty like pretty much just stab there. The Extrasensory is for the Tentacruel. Uh, if it decides to swap in there, and uh, the Chestnut as well. Uh, like I can Thunderbolt the, uh, the Tentacruel, but I like the extra sensory option really for the Chestnut specifically. I'll call mine just to get my bulk up, and then Leftovers is really nice there. And then Shadow Ball uh, for the um, well, Sableye a little bit, not really, well actually Thunderbolt's more effective there. Shadow Ball is more so for the Bronzong. Uh, just so if I get matched up against that thing, I don't, like, if I'm call mined up, I can hit that thing with a like a plus one or plus two shadow ball and it's going to be doing like 70 percent depending on his spread and i'll be in a really good position this thing is just an overall monster uh i decided on the max speed just because i want to be able to outspeed pretty much everything on his drive i was thinking about putting more hp there but i really didn't think that i would need to um and this thing kind of is my uh scarf rampi or rampardos 
uh, check because if he brings like uh, Scarf Rampidos or Rampardos out against Raikou, like I'll know he's Scarf for sure. And then uh, moving on to the next one, we have Excadrill, which has the Earthquake, Rock Slide, Stealth Rocks, and Iron Head. And you see that we are running the Sand Rush ability. Uh, and I decided to run Expert Belt over, say, Life Orb or anything, because I wanted uh, Excadrill really to do a lot of work this week. Uh, because I feel that, you know, with uh, mods like Volcarona, uh, like Chestnut, and things like that, really just getting off super effective hits um, against everything would be really nice. Uh, like, with the Expert Belt, it really just allows for that. And... Uh, extra drill doesn't have to worry about taking damage down like from the life orb in addition to like any other hazards that marty gets set up if he gets like stealth rocks up or anything like that i don't want extra drill to go down because i feel like it's so important uh, especially if he's gonna have the azum rule because a, a regular azum rule even choice bandit doesn't knock me out with a uh doesn't knock me out with a aqua jet so if i can get the sand rush up there he basically just has the aqua jet and let himself die down to whatever i decide to go for and yeah, that's pretty much extra drill there. So we move on to Latias, uh, the Healing Wish, Sandstorm, Draco Meteor, Psy Shock. And I decided to Life Orb this thing because Latias is so fast that I really didn't need to put uh, like Latias is so fast that I didn't really need to put like a Choice Scarf or anything on it. And uh, like really, I feel this is going to be kind of a Clerk Mon. Like really, I'm just going to set up a Sandstorm and either drop a Draco or Psy Shock on like other Mons that I don't really like against me there. Yeah, that's pretty much, like, Latias is just going to be there dropping Dracos, and, uh, like, the Healing Wish is there for, like, if I feel that something has a great matchup against uh, the team that he brought, if it gets slowed down after a while, I can bring in Latias, uh, take a hit, Healing Wish off, and then bring that Mon back in, back to full health, minus, like, a hazard, uh, or minus, like, a status element, so, like, if the Mega Sableye gets off a Will Wisp against Extra Drill, I can Healing Wish that off, and I'll be in a fine position there. And like overall, just this has great coverage on it, and the sandstorm allows me to uh, get extra drill uh, sped up, and just outspeeding Marty's entire team, and just popping for power. Now we move on to my physical wall this week, which is going to be wheezing with the Willow Wisp Sludge Bomb, Toxic Spikes, and Clear Smog. Now Marty has a lot of Trick Room uh, mons, and he also has uh, a couple mons that can set up Calm Minds or Bulk Ups. So I wanted the Clear Smog on wheezing specifically, just so that uh, like we can come in against them. And we're in a fine position. So, like, if the Azum rolls out against me and decides to belly drum up, I can just clear smog that away, and I'm perfectly fine there. And uh, the toxic spikes I thought was really like good because not a lot of people know that Weezing gets toxic spikes. So I felt let's put it on there, and uh, we can just slowly whittle down Marty's team. Um, minus like Bronzong, Golpin, uh, Tenacruel. If those mons come, then I'll have to kind of like look out for that because uh, Golpin and the um, Open and the Tenet Crew can absorb those toxic spikes, and uh, Bronzong is immune to them, obviously, with uh, not only the levity ability, but also uh, because it's a steel type. Uh, so I won't know if it gets poisoned or like if it's a levitate uh, Bronzong or if it's heat proof, uh, so respectively, just because uh, it's a poison type, regardless. But uh, I felt this thing really walls the Azumarill, it walls the Blaziken, it walls the Rampardos um, really, really hard. And uh, I was debating putting. Um, Destiny Bond instead of Clear Smog, but I decided against it because I really feel that uh, Marty has the potential to run uh, the Azumarill as Belly Drum, so that's something that I might need to worry about, and having the Clear Smog on there is just really nice, so if he Belly Drums up, I can just Clear Smog immediately, and uh, there's nothing he can really do about that, he'll just be sitting there at half HP, at, well, probably less than half HP if I hit him with a Clear Smog, probably like 25 to 10 to 25 percent left over and Weezing's just sitting in a solid position as well as if i'm out against the sableye uh, which normally they don't run like psychic or anything like that um like foul play will-o-wisp uh like fake out calm minds really are the like the moves they run but i can get off a of clear smog and just get away the um the calm minds off of that and then just come in with something else that like a uh, like raikou there or mr mime and just blow them back and our final mon the monster Blastoise himself. I decided to make this our spinner just because I feel that Blastoise is a really good switch in against a lot of mons that uh, Marty has. But this thing is also a monstrous, uh, monstrous threat against his team. I decided against the Ice Beam uh, specifically because I don't want a matchup against Chestnut. And with Weezing there and Mr. Mime and Latias, I really didn't feel that I needed to have the Ice Beam for that switch in. Um, I also put Zen Headbutt on there if I really need to battle Chestnut and... <laughs> Uh, this was more specifically for the Tentacruel, because Tentacruel is a bulky special wall um, that the Zen Headbutt would hit it there. And we're running it the Quiet Nature because that does allow for Blastoise not to have the... Oh, we need to put these right in here. 
Uh, that allows for Blastoise to not have uh, like too hard of a... Well, he doesn't get the attack minus, basically. And uh, Blastoise isn't really fast. And Marty has the potential to run a... Uh, has the potential to run a Trick Room team. So having a minus speed nature with Blastoise, because it's not really going to outspeed a lot of Marty's mods anyway. Uh, it's going to be in a really good position. Um, Dark Pulse for the Sableye and the Bronzong, respectively, uh, hit it up. Uh, Azumarill kind of walls his Blastoise, but I do have uh, the Weezing, I do have the Extra Dread, I do have the Raikou just chilling right there. Uh, that can pretty much blow back any Azumarill, even like Assault Vest isn't going to hurt Weezing. Uh, Belly Drum might hurt Weezing a little bit, but then I get off a will o -Wisp, Clear Smog, so I'm chilling like a villain. So I, I really feel that this, this team works really synergetically together, especially against Marty's team. So I felt that, uh, yeah, this team's going to be really solid against Marty's team. Uh, I'm looking forward to the battle. I think that we're going to do really well. And I hope to bring the first victory to the Alabaster Arcanines. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below. And check out the links down below of all the coaches. Make sure to uh, check out their team builders and their matches respectively, which will be going up tomorrow. Um, and yeah, thanks guys. I'm out. Bye-bye.